Hi again, it's Kate from Is Delicious Designs. Now today what I'm going to do is show you how we can take our little extended loom move it forward technique mural that we made, which was a very skinny one, but that's all I need, and um, turn it into a little basket. So what we're going to do, we've done the first video and we've got our little mural ready, which is just five columns um, long. We're going to turn our loom sideways. The columns are all going to be in line with each other, so standard configuration. And what I'm going to do is get two bands and I'm going to double band five of these. So that's three, four, and five. One for each of the columns that we have. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down between, push my hook between the end cap here. Now, if I really wanted to, I could do it this side, which has got the, the loop, and that might be a little bit more sensible. If you have a look here, we've got one, two, three, four, and this red one here makes number five. So we'll start with the red and put our hook through there like that. Now what you let me just show you, what we're wanting to capture is both sides of the band. So you've got two and two. So there's four loops that we're placing here. Similarly to here, four loops. You're just getting the top four. So if you can see there's two here and two here. And two there. And that's only one. Let's get the other one as well. Come here, you. No, I've got one too many. As you get to the end here, it's a little bit more difficult. One and two. There we go. Like that. Now, what I'm going to do, dig my hook down here and loop up. I'm sorry, I'm telling you fibs. So now I've stretched this first side on, what I'm going to do is take my second side, which is the other side here, and again I'm going to push my hook through, I just want those four brown bands, pop that one on top here, and that one on top here, and you might have to push this down a bit, and this one here, so you're laying them on top, this one here, Turn your loom around so that you can see it, and this one here. So you have all of them on there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is push my hook down. I can see the two bands that I want. And I'm going to loop them up. And as you can see, I've got my little tags here, tie-off bands that I used. And if you find it tight, move your hook, move the hook around the outside of the peg. It might be tight because you're looping it to the side and that always makes it a little tight. Dig down, grab those two bands. And this one you need to just push everything back to grab those two bands and loop forward. Now I'm going to grab my hook and I'm going to take these off the loom like so all right so I've, I've tied it up I've knotted it up now instead of grabbing two bands and threading them through I'm going to use the two bands that I tied off with and put them on the end of my hook like this and I'm going to roll all of these loops on like that 
and then be gentle you you want to make sure that you don't have this like lumpy bit that I have here but in the same instance you don't want to pull it so tight that you break your bands so stretch it out so that it's even like that now we're working on the inside when we actually finish we turn it round okay so from here I'm going to take my hook out and push it back the other side what we're going to do from this side is this is where we're going to start making the bottom of our basket and what I thought we would do um, I'm not sure what color I would like it to be I'll, I'll probably just do it brown so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a single band and I'm only going to use single bands because I'm not going to make this one is quite a as you can see quite a, a fine this one is done with a single band if you do it with a double band it makes it um, less see-through but I don't think there's any real advantage I quite like this look to it you can do it either way it really doesn't matter but I, I think I'm going to do it this way with a single band, less bands. <laughs> so you've got your tie, you, the band that you tied off with has now got all these loops on it. Okay, what we're going to do, I'm going to move this forward so you can see how I do this. What I'm going to do, I've got the two loops here. These, this side here is the inside rim of my circle and this is the outside rim. I'm going to take my hook and go through the two top bands on the inside rim. Take a single and slide on. Then I'm going to go through the next two bands on the inside rim. Grab a single and slide on the next two inside bands reclaim and slide on and I'm going to do this all the way around always whoopsie don't let go of that <laughs> always just getting these two inside To the red, move my hook through, and it can be a bit tricky, but just take your time. Oh, if I could get this on the end of my hook, it would be nice. <laughs> and what you're seeing happen, and you're not seeing it yet, but as we go through the next one, we slide this, it sort of comes in a bit and then we go through this part here so it gets smaller and smaller and smaller so take my hook go through the next two and you sort of hang on to it until you've captured the next two and then you reclaim it Hold on to the end here until you've found your next two and then pop it on. We're doing this all the way around. Oops, don't reclaim yet, Kate. <laughs> Oh, 
tie them all on, find the next two, there they are. Now I started at this link point, so that's where I will finish. Slide it on. And the next two reclaim. Sometimes it gets a little tricky. There we go, there's the two I want. And just remember, this isn't a race. Take this as slowly as you want. Pause me lots. I won't be offended. Reclaim. Another band. Now I'm back at the beginning. So I'm just going to put the, I'm just going to reclaim it for now. As you can see, this is the extra that we've just added, okay, this bit here. I probably should have done it in another color to show you. So this time, instead of getting the inside ring, what we're going to do is go for, now I'm looking here and I'm still, I want to just link it one more time to the next side, which is here. So let me just link this one in. And then we start on our second round. Here is where we did. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the inside two bands again and let's go round and I can see that I've got more than my fair share of bands on here. There we go. Now if you have a look you can see the inside is only going to be a single band now because we were only using a single band to go around. So I'm going to just grab a single band and reclaim and slide on. Now this time I'm not going to be as picky about picking every single one. I'm going to maybe pick every other one so, whereas if you look here, you can see I'm at this one. I'm going to skip that one and go to this one. Okay. And I'm going to skip that one and go to <laughs> this one and reclaim. skip this one and go oh if I can get my hook in I'm using a bigger hook than normal I'm gonna talking of that I'm gonna swap hooks I'm gonna go to my smaller one okay so instead of going to this one I'm going to this one Can you see how it's starting to move forward, get smaller? Okay, so instead of going to this one, I'm going to this one. I'm not going to this one, I'm going to this one. I'm 
not this one, but this one. Not this one, but this one. Not this one, but this one. And if you mess up and go one, you know, the next one, it's not gonna, it's not gonna matter um, at all. It's just tying it all in. Okay, so I'm back at the link. I'm going to go into this one now. And I'm now on my third round. I'm missing this one. I'm going to this one. I'm missing this one. And I'm going to this one. I'm missing this one and I'm going to this one. I'm going to miss this one and go to this one. I'm going to miss this one and go to this one. And I'm going to really call this my, my last set, really, because all I'm going to do is go across to here, put my hook through, and I'm going to slide the middle band. Oops, hang on, let's try that again. Slide the middle band, there's my first one. Slide the middle band over like that. Grab another one here, slide the middle one over, and then the first one over and I'm left with that. Now, as I said, this is the inside. So it doesn't matter that this is on the inside. What you can do instead of sliding it over is, you got it, <laughs> tie a knot. So there's one. And there is two. So when we turn this over, like that, there's the bottom of your little basket that you have now weaved closed. And you can see it's almost like a little spiral. And there's our little basket, like that. Now, and you can tuck these under the two little loops if you want to. When you're choosing to do a little handle for it, I normally put one where the link was. Let me move this back now. Oh, there we go. So I normally choose one where the link upside was. So for us, the link upside is here, and then the other side is over there. So as you can see, all I've done is a chain. And you can do that on your loom, or you can do that on your hook. For me, I've used one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen doubles. I'm going to do it in white and red, I think. So let's see. When you start, you're going to push your hook through one side here. on the side that we have it joined okay and what I'm going to do is grab two white and I'm going to pull that through like that and do another two white on and slide on so what I'm going to do for this I'm just going to do a pattern you know uh, anything I like really I'll take a pair of red. How many did I say? 18? I can't remember now. And then I'll do a pair of white and a pair of white. A pair of 
uh, of red. And a pair of white. And a pair of white. Pair of red. Of white and a pair of white. Red. White. And white. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is 15. Sixteen and seventeen. Let's see how that looks. I think we can kind of make it that height or we can do one more set we'll do one more set I'm going to finish on the red I'm going to turn my basket inside out I'm going to make sure that this isn't tangled I'm going to take my hook out and push my hook through here as I said, make sure it's not tangled. I'm going to grab these two, hold on to the other two. I'm going to pull that through like that. Grab the other end like so. Pull this through. And we're going to tie this in a slip knot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to poke my hook through the band next to it and then through my loops there and pull them through because what I want to do is tie a knot <laughs> come on, I want to grab those two loops, there we are pull it through and go through So I've tied like a little slip knot with that. I'm going to tuck these bands under here. Okay, so that they're sort of a bit hidden under these other red bands. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Like that. And then I'm going to turn my basket the right way. And there we have our little basket. And as I said, you can use any colour you like. Um, you can use any kind of pattern, I guess. Um, for me, I found that doing it just the five columns gave a very sweet result. But you can also do more than five columns. And this one was uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This one was 12. So I'll leave it up to you. You can experiment and play and see what you come up with. Take care. Bye-bye.